Hello and welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade and today on the menu we have a drinks review we have the Perfect Storm Epic IPA review shopping as we all know where I shop we picked up the Perfect Storm Indian Pale Ale micro brewed for maximum flavour it's William Brothers Brewing Corporation, produced in Scotland, so it's a Scottish IPA where they do probably have more storms than most people up there. Because I went to Edinburgh once in February and it was damn cold, damn damn cold. But let's have a look. It's four point five percent, so it's not really a strong one. Five hundred ml bottle. Uh, do, 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 do. Specially produced for Aldi stores. So this I'm assuming you can only find in Aldi stores. You can't find anywhere else. And it was awarded one star in the Great Taste 2018. There's no description or anything. Normally they put like a backstory or something of why or how it was made. But there's nothing on this one. Lovely label though. Nice label of a storm brewing. Looks good, so I don't know, apart from the fact it's, it being an IPA, I have no idea what fruits, flavours, hops or anything has gone into this because there's absolutely nothing on the label, which is unusual because most places put nice descriptions on that I can read to you guys, get a bit of a backstory, but unfortunately this one doesn't, so we'll give it a pour. Just by the smell of it, a standard IPA smell with the hops and the yeast. Yeah, nothing different. I can't taste any, I can't taste, sorry. Can't smell any fruit, can't smell any different from the hops or anything like that. So we'll have to just go with the taste and see if there's anything there. Lovely, crisp, clear though. Absolutely beautiful pour sitting nice in the glass so here goes for the perfect storm epic indian pale ale cheers not bad not bad at all but i would just say it's a standard ipa there's nothing that makes this stand out from any other IPA pale ale. It's dry, it's tasty. You can taste the hops, you can taste the yeast, and it, it is a nice tasting IPA. But when I do these reviews, I do like to taste something different or something a bit fruity or, but this is just a standard IPA ale. Nothing spectacular about it. Nothing that jumps out and goes, ooh, I'd, have, I'd definitely buy me another one of them. So, it's my gold brewed for maximum flavour. It is a good flavour. I'd probably give it, because it's just a standard IPA, there's nothing great about it. There's nothing outstanding about it. I'm only going to give it a six. I know that's a pretty low. But I like, to, I like different flavours. I like different fruits. I like different things to be in. I will not... Buy this one again, I promise that. It's 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 nothing spectacular. It's tasty and it tastes nice, don't get me wrong. As a standard IPA, if that's what you're after. But there's no different flavours or anything that would make me go, oh, I'll definitely have another one of them. Definitely, where I have done before with other uh, crafted beers, crafted ales, crafted ciders, I think to myself, yeah, I'm going to get this some more then because that was really, really nice. But this doesn't do that for me this time, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I'm going to finish it. Cheers. Nice taste. Clean, crisp. Not too gassy, which is good. So that was my review of Perfect Storm Epic IPA Indian Pale Ale Review. Hope you enjoyed this review. It's okay. If you if you like your pale ales, you like your IPAs, it's a good 
standard one to have nothing that jumps out at you but it's nice don't get me wrong so thank you very much for watching smash that like button hit that subscribe button and i will be back very very soon peace